Each fall, an increase in respiratory illnesses is normal, but Emerald Health leaders say right now they are seeing an early and exceedingly high number of cases. Thanks for joining us tonight. The increase in respiratory illnesses is putting a strain on Amarillo hospitals. Tonight, KAMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has an update as COVID, the flu, and RSV impact how they're able to care for patients. That story, topping our news tonight at 10. Respiratory viruses are putting pressure on Amarillo emergency rooms, hospital bed capacity, and staffing resources. What we're seeing over the last couple of days is that these emergency rooms are seeing over 200% of the number of patients that they were originally designed to see. And that's very concerning, mostly because first, it overloads our staff there at those hospitals, but secondly, when you're hitting 2%, 100% of our capacity, you actually physically overload the building. Northwest Chief Medical Officer Dr. Brian Weiss says they have also been close to capacity for pediatric beds for the past two weeks. And at BSA, Dr. Michael Lamentier says on Wednesday morning, they had 18 admission holds in their ER. That is a very high number. That is not normal for us here at BSA to have that many patients waiting for admission beds. And again, it's because of the high census. It's because of the demand on that inpatient uh, service and need. Amarillo Public Health Authority Dr. Todd Bell says unless you have severe respiratory symptoms like difficulty breathing, discoloration, and dehydration, call your primary care doctor or go to urgent care instead of the ER. Our strain on the health care system is when we have folks with mild or moderate disease that are seeking care like at emergency rooms and places that are really designed for higher acuity for more sick patients, patients with um, uh, chest pain or strokes. Uh, we need to make sure that we have open access for those folks with severe illness that they're able to get in and see their uh, physician in those emergency settings in a rapid manner. Health leaders also encourage people to get vaccinated against COVID-19 and the flu to stay safe. And as usual, practice good hygiene like hand washing and covering coughs and sneezes. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Kaylee, thank you. The Amarillo Public Health Department is releasing data on flu cases in Potter and Randall counties. To see the most recent numbers, you can go to our website right now, myhighplains.com.